Welcome back to Ebony Island, this uh, Ebony Taylor challenge. Um, I do think I'm gonna do some lugging today. Uh, so I'm gonna drive down there. But uh, I also picked up a couple of contracts. So we will uh, get those started as well. Uh, it's uh, one harvest contract and one. Uh, plowing contract and I just saw on the uh, contract uh, site uh, there is a couple of baling contract and I do think I'm gonna do one more of those but uh, uh, this time uh, unlike last time oh potato contract oh yeah and uh, I'm gonna use uh, this uh, trailer and I'm gonna lease a bale spike and I'm gonna load the bales on the trailer because <laughs> as you remember uh, this uh, loader that comes with the contract it's uh, just painful simple as that so so yeah I think first of all I guess this tractor belongs to the plow. I hope so. <laughs> I'm gonna get those uh, contracts going, and as soon as all the machinery is uh, is out, oops. Well, maybe I can just uh, wait till they finish, and then I will pick up this bailing contract. Uh, it is a challenge. It's all about, I think, <laughs> making money fast to get to the next stage. So uh, so we have to do some contract. Uh, it's not much else to do. We have to wait for the, the grass and the wool production is uh, is uh, not big. We have 20 sheep. So 116. Where is that? Oh, both are down here. All right, I will get this one down. Uh, so probably. Uh, after we done some contract, get some more money, I will uh, probably buy some more sheep. Or uh, I will once again check the, the prices on some fields. Uh, I think I'm gonna focus mostly on sheep. It's a tailor come challenge. So I will uh, check out the price on those uh, grass fields around me. And also, I know it's it's good money in in wool, so I think it's a, a fast way to get uh, money. Uh, so I don't have to do contract all the time and uh, relax with some lugging and uh, sell some wool, and uh, we will get there uh, quite fast. So uh, yeah, and I picked up a potato contract uh, I don't do that that often uh, but it's uh, it's all about how much uh, bonus yield you get so we did get a little bit I get uh, I think I did one harvest contract in the first or second episode and I got uh, the same amount in uh, bonus as I did on the contract so I'm not sure if that's the case with uh, with uh, potatoes but we will find out Let's see plowing 116 that's on the other side here where is the gate let's be sure or oh, probably can't plow the wrong field so, uh, where is the gate? What? Maybe I can take a shortcut. Ooh, a tree. I should probably, there's a road on the inside, I guess. Oh, it's an oddly shaped field. Uh,
not sure if this is uh, what's it called? Multi angel uh, field. We can see. Looks like it. So yeah, we will uh, fix the rest after. So good. Uh, this is probably the one that's supposed to go on the harvester. I do think this is the narrow wheels. So So potato contract, yeah. Uh, I do have a big potato contract uh, going on uh, the US grain farm uh, when I record this episode at least uh, <laughs> and you see this I'm probably finished but uh, right now I'm I do not know if uh, potato contract is a good idea or not uh, do take a, a lot of time that's for sure uh, but um, money wise uh, we will uh, find out I guess so, yeah here the sheeps are I'm gonna buy a little bit of every breed just for the view they produce the same amount of wool and lambs and so on so it doesn't really matter what kind of breed you choose but uh, it's uh, nicer to look at the uh, different colored sheeps so really sure if I should no when I put the helper on he will take care of the topper and uh, the harvester so it should be okay and probably will be a whole lot of uh, headlands uh, in two of the uh, edges at least so probably have to take care of that myself uh, but, uh, we'll see when uh, the helper done what he can so it's probably in here. Ooh. Hopefully this angle is about the same. That's the bad stuff with the, the potato harvester. It's easy to get it stuck on uh, like this on different poles so I will take a turn on this field now hopefully I will get in On. <coughs> and let's see what will the helper do now it looks like you don't really need a topper So the same in uh, the US grain farm that I could just park the the topper but okay uh, looks like I will have to do a couple of headlamps myself so I will do that and get back to you
gonna try putting on a helper. Really sure how he will do, but uh, at least we are aligned with the, the rows here. So yeah, uh, what? Where is it? Okay, <laughs> I didn't see that he was. Um, ah, I think he's oh, he's stuck. Yeah, it's uh, downside with small fields and these poles and so on. So uh, I'm gonna help him out a little bit. I think if I'm just uh, if I plow up here, I will give him some. Uh, Some uh, extra headland here to turn on, so hopefully he won't get stuck on this um, uh, the poles, and I will just finish the the last bit myself. I'll probably have to go up and uh, do the same in the other end. Maybe you don't need that much headland. The plowing and cultivating contracts are, it's not that much money, but you know, you can uh, put the helper on and uh, you don't have to deliver anything or, uh, yeah, help him empty the tank or something. So, so, uh, so that's a good thing with uh, those cultivating contracts and, uh, and stuff. So, it's kind of easy money. Uh, most of the times you can just put him to work and you don't have to worry about it until the uh, contract's finished. So, not, not, <laughs> not this time. So I will just make him this uh, headline and I think uh, now the workers are uh, busy. I will uh, go and uh, cut down some trees. Oh, this is <laughs> what's up? It doesn't look. Oh, now it's better. So we will earn uh, ten thousand and uh, some more, I hope, on the potatoes and uh, deliver uh, some logs. Yeah, hopefully we will make quite a bit of money. Right back to that. Alright, so you're reversing the whole. We will have a, a quite a bit to clean up after, but uh, at least we can do other stuff in the meantime. So, um, yeah, uh, what I don't like about this trailer, as I mentioned, is the locks roll off. So, but I saw there is a, a pole here. So I will like uh, cut down those tree around here, and I will try to park the trailer close to this uh, light pole. So that will prevent the logs from uh, falling off. I hope we will see. So uh, that's the plan, and uh, yeah. All right, I will uh, cut down these tree. I did remap my keys, uh, so I don't remember where to to 
bow down uh, and don't crouch. Uh, oh, okay. I will do that because uh, those stumps won't be in the way the same way. It's a bad place to have. Finally, figure out this <laughs> deep branching, but uh, need to remap my keys, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I will uh, figure that out. Sure, don't want it on, uh, on that key. Looks like the potato harvester is almost full. Not quite yet. Yeah, I will uh, continue with this, and uh, I will get back to you uh, in a while. load, almost full load of, uh, with potatoes. So I'm a bit curious to see, I don't know, have we harvested half the field? Not quite maybe. So uh, hopefully this will be at least 50% of uh, 
of the year we need to deliver. So uh, it's gonna be. Hopefully we will get. I hope for a big bonus because it's <laughs> it's a bit painful with potatoes. But uh, I did have some issue with the plow as well. It's not that uh, smooth contract as uh, usually is. But that's mostly because of these the hedges and the the poles in the in the middle there. Get stuck and uh, from time to time. But now I made, uh, as you saw, a bigger headland uh, in the other side as well. So I haven't had any issue uh, after I did that. So hopefully he will take care of himself. And now um, I am uh, in the process of loading my trailer with logs. Uh, this pole uh, actually worked out <laughs> for now. Uh, I haven't got that many locks on yet, but uh, at least it stopped the uh, it stopped the locks from falling off the first one, so uh, I got a good starting point at least. So we will see when we get to the second layer and maybe the third. I will <laughs> see how many locks I can get on, but. Uh, uh, working uh, fine for now, at least. So uh, yeah, it's not too far. It's not a big map. Uh, the main road is in a circle around the island, so but there are a lot of small roads, uh, so you can cross the island uh, probably and on many roads, but they are kind of hard to see on the map. So, but I guess uh, so I've been. Uh, when I, when I have got to play for some hours, I will probably know the roads better. So, so yeah, where is the farmer's market? Uh, is it here? I think I'm gonna mark it so I don't go the wrong way, <laughs> wrong delivery point, like uh, like I did uh, with the bales. Farmer's Market. Tech. All right, so it's here. Double check. Farmer's Market. Yep. So hopefully I will get the uh, unload trigger someplace. Oh yeah, there it is. Not on the second one, uh, tip side, left. Twin. Okay, so I will uh, hopefully get like uh, over 50%, so it probably won't be that many. Thousand liters uh, in bonus, but uh, everything counts. So, uh, close to fifty. Okay, so uh, we won't be rich on this contract, I guess. But uh, the contract itself is seven and uh, six thousand. So. Uh, we will earn some money regardless. So, all right, I will uh, head back with this and continue with the logging, and uh, we'll get back to you uh, in a bit. All right, <coughs> I had a little, or have a little trouble on this field. Uh, he, because of the angle of the field. He, uh, I think he's finished with the work, so I probably have to do uh, the rest uh, on my own. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not that much left uh, anyway. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna get maybe a little bit more bonus 
than I thought in the beginning, but uh, we will see. And also, uh, this loading of this trailer, it's uh, really a pain. So, I actually am thinking about... Uh, we don't have that much to choose between, but I think I'm probably going to lease this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the crane or just use the tractor. Uh, I will <laughs> find out, but I, I think I really do need these uh, these uh, bars up to prevent the logs from rolling off. Uh, you see this uh, load is it's not that much because it's um, hard to stack them uh, in layers if you get the first one it's okay they keep uh, falling off so so uh, I think uh, to ease the job I'm gonna lease uh, one of those uh, timber trailers uh, so I will deliver this, uh, let's just see how much I get, uh, probably 4,000 4, maybe, and, uh, I will get back to that uh, potato field and I will uh, finish that uh, myself. Oh, I'm never getting used to driving on the, the left side of the road, but uh, I uh, usually uh, avoid uh, colliding that that much at least uh, it happens of course so yeah uh, where was this uh, we have I think bought a sawmill biogas sawmill I think I actually delivered at the biogas Where's the best price? Wood. Oh, it's pretty much the same. So, uh, the biogas was like 50 more. So, uh, I will probably uh, deliver the biogas. So, four, three and a half, four thousand. I think it's not that big a load. But uh, oh, almost six thousand. That's uh, all right. I'll take it. But you know, <laughs> with all that work loading the trailer, it's not that good. But it is free money, though. So. So yeah, um, I will uh, get back to work and uh, get back to you, uh, I guess, uh, when the potato harvest is finished, because now I have to focus on that and not logging. So uh, yeah, I uh, will focus on that and I'll get back to you when it's uh, about finished.
All right, almost finished. It's been uh, taking a while, but uh, as of now, we are. Uh, I have delivered 90% of uh, what the contract uh, wants, and hopefully, I won't have to take those small, those few potatoes that are left. This will uh, at least complete the contract, I hope. And uh, yeah, uh, I said there will be a couple of thousand liters in bonus. Uh, I really don't think so uh, anymore. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully we will. Uh, nope, that's not it. Hopefully we will at least uh, complete the contract, if nothing else. So, uh, where is it? The hold there. Yeah, I'm uh, running slow speed, as you can see, two minutes, but still it's uh, starting to get dark. So I guess I will deliver this, hopefully, uh, with a little bonus. And I um, guess that's gonna be the end of the episode as well. Gonna go up and check out the sheep. Uh, see uh, how much wool we got. I don't think it will be much. Because it was, <laughs> I think it was this month we bought uh, the, the last sheep. So we got 20 sheep and. Uh, they are young, so they don't produce that much wool. But they will, uh, they will grow. They will reproduce, and uh, I guess uh, next year, this time, we will have uh, a decent herd of sheep. So, yeah, we are getting there. Um, before I uh, go to sleep, I will also uh, collect uh, one baling contract. Hopefully it will still be uh, available tomorrow. So uh, and that's as we uh, experienced the other day. It's uh, good money. So no, no, no. There. So I don't know. Maybe a couple of hundred euros at least. Being, um, oh look at that! More, it was a couple of thousand. All right, uh, almost three thousand in bonus, and uh, now the contracts, uh, the plowing is complete. So that's four, almost five. So about eleven thousand then and, uh, in contract, and uh, I guess I will. Uh, Next time I rent this uh, trailer, uh, tim timber trailer, and uh, yeah, where is the bailing? The bailing, I'm gonna pick up this one. Except, come, oh, damn it! Did I forget to borrow? No, I didn't. <laughs> Good. So yeah, the sheep. Uh, how are they doing? They are at live at least, so uh, not that much. Uh, oh yeah, almost 500 uh, liters. So that's good. Uh, we have a lot of money. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna buy 10 more. What do we have now? Uh, Black Welsh and Steinshop. Yes. So, um, let's buy uh, 10 of those as well. Alright, so we've got the black one, the brown one. 
the black faced faced one. All right, so uh, yeah, money is up. The sheep number is up. It's looking good. I hope. I think. I don't know. So um, I think I'm gonna call it. And uh, we got some stuff to do next episode. And I will. Uh, have to, <laughs> I forgot the the stage demand uh, just now. So I will uh, figure that out. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I will see you again in the next one. Bye bye.